So what to keep in mind when we start setting our career goals? Before we move into how to develop a really robust and effective career plan and how to take the right action, I want to make sure that we talk about um, the goal setting in and of itself. So people often set goals that can appear too large and too difficult to achieve. So the first pitfall is to ask yourself, are my goals too large and are my goals too difficult? I very often hear people talk about, you know, I want to achieve, I want to be promoted, for example, into a head of marketing role, you know, um, in a year's time when they are currently probably only at an entry level um, marketing role. So once again, it's not to say that it's impossible, but are they actually too large and too difficult? And how can we break those goals down into smaller milestones? The second thing to ask yourself is, is there a lack of knowledge on how to take the first step? So going back to the same example of that, say, I want to become a head of marketing in a year's time. Do you have knowledge of how to take the first step? Do you have knowledge or experiences or insight around what makes a great head of marketing? Or in order to occupy a role, get it promoted um, to a role of head of marketing, what do you as an individual need to possess as skills and experiences? Are you setting that goal in isolation of understanding what it takes? Or do you have the right knowledge and do you have the right people, mentors or coaches around you to support you on the journey? So getting started is usually the hardest. That's why the first step can be overwhelming and it can actually be a big blocker. And what is a really important step to take is to actually look around you and see if there are people around you who have achieved the goal that you have set for yourself and to work with them to help educate yourself to unpack a little bit around what first step you can take to actually help yourself achieve that next career goal. And the third thing is, are you clear on why those goals are your goals? I'll say that again. Ask yourself, are you clear why those goals are your goals? Having true clarity on your career goals is absolutely fundamental to achieving them. It's about understanding what they mean to you, why you want to achieve them, and how they motivate you. And it's important to actually ask yourself that question because as you progress on your journey to um, try and you know break down barriers and achieve your goals, there will be setbacks, there will be challenges. And one of the most important um, drivers and motivators to help you sustain uh, consistent action over a long period of time is if you're really clear about the why. It's because it's if you are purpose driven, and that's when you can actually last the distance and overcome barriers and hurdles that might stand in your way. And now, how do we create this winning roadmap to reach our career goals? Plans on their own are not really constructive unless we know and are able to turn them into action. So the next part of the session is more around how do we take action? We've now got clarity around creating an effective goal and plan. The next part is all about taking actions. Firstly, a couple of actions that you need to actually be taking is simplify and breaking down your plan. I cannot emphasize enough how fewer is bigger and better. More is not more when it comes to setting and achieving your career goals. Don't try to multitask. So when you take actions, the first action you need to do when you've got a plan in place is to think about how you can reduce it. And I have a rule of three, which is three rounds of reduction. If you've started your goal, career goal with 10, go through one round of cut, second round of cut, and then the third round of cut. Leave yourself and also no more than three goals that you want to achieve at any given point in time. So instead of having multiple goals and plans, right? And so taking the example we used before, let's say you want to be promoted to a head of marketing in the 12th month, get a 30% pay increase and complete my MBA. Instead of having all those goals, 
cut them down, right? Remember, rule of three. Right, and prioritize them in order of importance, and pick the top one or pick the top three, and focus on that first. Remember, fewer is better. Fewer, bigger, better. More is not more when it comes to career、um, goals and setting career plans, and don't try to multitask. Second thing is actually prioritize, which I've mentioned already a little bit. But focus is absolutely key. Breaking them down into bite-sized mini steps. So, for example, if your goal was to getting promoted in the next twelve months, actually break them down into a monthly milestone. So the first thing you might do is, hey, in the next month. The action I'll be taking is to have a conversation with my manager to make my intentions known and understand what are some of the considerations or selection criteria for me to secure that role. Step one. Step two is once I've got clarity on what are some of the skill set I'll need to acquire, create a plan on acquiring those top three skill sets. Rather than starting with a twelve-month goal, actually prioritize and break them down, and break them down to specific, almost to-do list, right, on a monthly or sometimes weekly basis. Celebrate small wins, like I alluded to before. Setting your career goal, achieving them, and sustaining that momentum is a really challenging and difficult one. Therefore, it's all the more important that we celebrate small wins along the journey, because as humans, we are wired to respond to positive reinforcement. So, ask yourself: Are you rewarding yourself every time you hit that mini checkpoint? Make sure that you celebrate the small wins, and that's why breaking those down, actually breaking those action plan down, is so important. If you've actually managed to have that conversation with your manager. In month one, reward yourself a little bit, celebrate a little, celebrate small wins, and those will become incremental building blocks to you actually achieving your goals. And then the fourth one, when it comes to taking action, is review your progress and adjust when needed. Note here, I did not say adjust if needed. I said adjust when needed. Change is the only constant, so be flexible about your plan, and be willing and ready to adjust it when needed, not if and when needed. 